Shalom. Kohalim la Yahawa Bahashim Yahusha Bahashim Rekwakadash. All praises be to the Most High Yahawa in the name of His Son and our Lord and Savior Yahusha. Much respect and honor to the brothers that are doing the work in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and freedom to do so, and pushing this gospel throughout the four corners of the earth. Salutations to the hopeful elect that are scattered abroad, and double honor and respect to the elders and the apostles, a great millstone. Come, coming back at you with another lesson. The Lord will avenge his elect. So his elect are the children of Israel, the anointed ones that have been sanctified by this word, by this gospel, this truth. Brainwash with the words of wisdom, this doctrine. So we're going to go into it. And a lot of Israelites trust this system. They trust the beast. And they trust the man behind the beast. Two-third Israelites, so-called Negroes, Native Americans, and Latinos, which is led by women, like Black Lives Matter, funded by George Soros, an international banker. Eve trusts this system. Eve has found a security blanket. And we know that the so-called Native Americans trusted in this proverbial security blanket. Look what happened to them. Virtually annihilated. Trust in this devil. The Bible says the words of his mouth. Let's get that. Eve believes on him. This is her daddy. Despite this man's criminal record, his track record, his history of bloodshed. And then we're going to play this video right here. Let's get something. Let's go to uh, Psalms. <coughs> the book of Psalms, chapter 50. Verse 18, when thou sawest a thief, then thou consentest with him and hast been partakers with adulterers. This is mainly the colonizer, Christopher Columbus. So it's talking about Edomites. And Christopher Columbus was from the tribe of Amalek. He was only in Spain five years. So he is a little hat man. Let's read it again. When thou sawest a thief, then thou consentest with him and has been partakers with adulterers. Thou givest thy mouth to evil and thy tongue frameth deceit. Thou sittest and speakest against thy brother. Thou slanderest thine own mother's son. These things hast thou done, and I kept silence. Thou thoughtest that I was altogether such as one as thyself. But I will reprove thee and set them in order before thine eyes. So they're going against Jacob. <clears throat> so-called Negroes, Native Americans, and Latinos. And they are under a misguided perception that the Most High is with them. Look up the term manifest destiny and divine providence. So they promoted this idea that the Most High is with them. Verse 22. Now consider this, ye that forget God, lest I tear you in pieces and there be none to deliver. <coughs> so 
So they are slated, reserved for the day of judgment. Let's go to Psalms 55. Let's go to, let's 